Hello students, in this video lecture I am going to discuss how to find the solution of an initial value problem involving a non-homogeneous wave equation. So, uh, for this uh, in this basically in this video I am going to consider theoretically uh, what is the method that one has to follow if uh, one is given an initial value problem involving a non-homogeneous wave equation. So, consider the initial boundary value problem uh, which we have marked as uh, 1 and uh, the problem goes like this u t t is equal to c square u x x plus f x subject to the conditions u x 0 is equal to f x uh, and u t x 0 is equal to g x u 0 t is equal to a and u l t is equal to b. Here x lies between 0 and l and t is greater than equal to 0. Now, if you take a look at this part u t t is equal to c square u x x, then this is the one dimensional wave equation uh, and the one dimensional wave equation represents uh, the problem of vibrating string, which I have earlier discussed uh, uh, in my earlier videos. Uh, but here apart from the one dimensional wave equation u t t is equal to c square uh, u x x, on the right hand side a function f x has been added and this particular function f x, this makes uh, the wave equation a non-homogeneous wave equation. So, this is basically a problem involving a non-homogeneous wave equation, but in any case uh, this, part, this part uh, which is the one dimensional wave equation, this represents the, uh, this represents the problem of vibrating string as I said before. Uh, again, uh, now coming to the conditions which are uh, present in problem 1, uh, the first two conditions uh, are we can see that these are conditions on uh, time here t uh, when you are actually dealing with a uh, wave equation here u is the dependent variable and u depends on two uh, independent variables x and t and uh, t the second variable represents the time and x represents the horizontal distance. Actually as I uh, mentioned just mentioned that uh, the uh, wave equation uh, represents uh, the problem of vibrating string. So, if there is a string uh, then uh, uh, as in this case uh, you have uh, l has been taken l generally represents the length of the string. So, in this case l is the length of the string. So, uh, if you have a string and if you pluck it or if you give a disturbance to it, the string starts moving up and down. So, uh, u represents the displacement or the position of the string. If you are taking any point on the string, then u represents the uh, position or the displacement of the string and uh, x represents the horizontal distance uh, from the initial point. So, if you drop a perpendicular from this point, then this, this, this distance is going to be x and t represents the time. So, u is a, a variable uh, representing the displacement and displacement depends upon the horizontal distance which is this distance and time t. So, uh, this has been discussed in details uh, in my earlier videos when we were uh, modeling uh, the wave equation or the problem of vibrating string. Uh, so, uh, now in this case uh, u x 0 is equal to f x. So, the uh, second variable which is time t has been taken as 0. Uh, and uh, uh, here also the second variable time uh, that is the time t has been taken as 0. So, these two are initial conditions because these are conditions on time and uh, you are saying that when time t is 0 in this first condition when time t is 0 u x 0 is equal to f x. So, uh, this means that uh, this represents the uh, displacement and rather it represents the initial displacement because we are taking time to be 0. Again the second condition says that when time t is 0 then u t, u t is the partial derivative of u with respect to t and the, the partial derivative of u which is the displacement with respect to time gives you velocity. So, the second condition says that the initial velocity must be g x. So, the first condition is the condition which gives you initial displacement, the second condition is the condition which gives you initial velocity. So, these are two initial conditions. Besides the initial conditions we are given to uh, boundary conditions. Boundary conditions are the conditions uh, which you put on x. This is the first coordinate which represents x. When x is 0, you are saying u 0 t is equal to a and when x is equal to l, then uh, you are saying that u l t should be equal to b where a and b are fixed. So, these are uh, uh, here a and b can be non-zero or they may be 0 whatever, but the these boundary conditions are uh, because a and b can be you know non-zero also or they may be 0. So, in general these uh, boundary conditions we conditions are non-homogeneous boundary conditions. In any case there are two initial conditions and there are two boundary conditions. So, this problem 1 is an initial boundary value problem 
and this initial boundary value problem involves the wave equation, but uh, in non homogeneous form because of this factor which makes it non homogeneous. Now, the point is how to uh, solve such an initial value problem in which the wave equation is present in non homogeneous form. So, for this uh, what we can do is one way of uh, uh, doing the, a problem like this is you can assume the solution u x t to be equal to v x t plus u x, where v x t is a new variable that we have introduced and uh, u x which is a function of x is also a new function that we have introduced. So, v x t is a function which you have to determine or it is a variable it is a v is a dependent variable which is dependent on uh, the independent variables x and t which have to be determined and uh, u x uh, ha also has to be determined, but uh, we are supposing that u x is a function which satisfies the uh, problem c square u x x plus f x is equal to 0 uh, such that u 0 is equal to a and u l is equal to b. Now, u x x uh, this uh, stands for uh, d square u by d x square because we know that uh, u is a function of x only. So, when you uh, when you write u x x this means that we are differentiating u totally with respect to x it is not a partial derivative it is a total derivative. So, why are we making uh, this assumption why are we assuming that u capital u is a function which has to be, uh, satisfy these conditions which we have marked as 3, 4 and 5. The, these, this has been done to simplify our original problem which was for problem 1. So, uh, what you have to do is basically in this uh, uh, method you are assuming the solution to be of this type you are assuming u x t to be equal to v x t plus u x where both v x t and u x have to be determined, but v x t uh, uh, will be determined in due course uh, later on, but uh, as far as u x is concerned u x is a uh, function of u or u x or u is a function of x which has to be determined in such a way. So, that it satisfies this particular uh, system this particular problem uh, and uh, this problem is given by 3 equations 3, 4 and 5. So, now this is the transformation or this is the substitution that I am going to make which is given by 2. Now, let me make use of 2 and uh, let me just try to change the problem 1 which is the original problem into a new transformed form. So, equation by equation there are uh, this is the first equation this is the there are two initial conditions there are two boundary conditions. So, equation by equation there are 5 equations in problem 1 equation by equation I will just change my original problem into a transformed problem and let me see what the transformed problem comes out to be. So, uh, let me uh, first of all uh, use 2, 2 is of course, uh, is uh, u x t this is equal to v x t plus uh, u x this is the value this is 2. So, using this 2 uh, in the first equation of uh, problem 1 the first equation of problem 1 is this u t t is equal to c square u x x. I just put the value of uh, uh, u x t over here this is u x t. I put the value of u x t as a v x t plus u x and uh, t t you have to take 2 times you have to differentiate this uh, partially with respect to t and is equal to c square again I put the value of u and 2 times you have to differentiate this partially with respect to x plus uh, f x and uh, here uh, again when you uh, when you do this then in the next step you have this will be, uh, become v t, uh, t t because this will be differentiated 2 times with, re with respect to t plus 0 because t is not appearing in this function. So, the derivative of this will be 0 with respect to t is equal to c square is as it is and then uh, the 2 times when you differentiate with respect to x here you have v x x and here you have u x x plus f x again. Uh, this uh, finally becomes v t t is equal to c square v x x plus uh, c square I am taking inside. So, v t t this two this 0 there is no need to write this 0. So, v t t is equal to c square v x x plus uh, c square u x x plus f x. Again uh, v uh, the next line v t t is equal to c square v x x plus 0. Why? Because this expression this expression the value of this expression is 0 because we are assuming that uh, u capital U which is a function of x is a function which satisfies this particular condition this we had marked as 3 this is your 3 we are assuming that u is a function which satisfies this condition. So, this is 0. So, using this fact using this fact that this is 0 this part goes off this particular part goes off and we have v t t is equal to c square v x x. So, this is the first transformed equation that we get and this we are marking as 6. Now, again using 2 
2 was u x t is equal to v x t plus u x in the second equation of problem 1. The second equation of problem 1 is the initial condition uh, which is the which gives you the initial displacement u x 0 is equal to f x. Now, using the value of u over here, so you have to put time as 0. So, wherever uh, t is coming you have to put it as 0. So, putting t as 0 uh, you have u, this u x 0 the value of u x 0 is v x 0 plus u x is equal to f x this is as it is v x 0 therefore, comes out to be this term can be taken on this side v x 0 is equal to f x minus u x. Now, this is the second transformed equation that you have this was the 6 was giving you the first transformed equation 7 is giving you the second transformed equation. Now, again uh, using uh, 2 which is this u x t is equal to v x t plus u x, we transform the third equation of the original problem 1. The third equation of the original problem 1 is the uh, is the initial condition uh, which, which actually gives you the initial velocity uh, u t x 0 is equal to g x. Now, again putting the value of uh, uh, this uh, u over here and uh, differentiating this partially with respect to time and putting uh, t is equal to 0. So, when you differentiate partially with respect to t, when you differentiate this thing partially with respect to t, you have v t x t plus 0. The derivative of this term with respect to uh, t par when you differentiate it with respect to time this will be 0 because there is no uh, term involving uh, t which is coming in uh, uh, u x. So, the derivative becomes 0 and then again you have to put time t is equal to 0 because time t has been put as 0 in this initial condition is equal to g x. So, uh, v t x 0 when you put time t as 0 this becomes 0. So, v t x 0 is equal to g x this is the third transformed equation which I am marking as 8 and now again using 2 which is u x t is equal to v x t plus u x this is the value of u uh, that we are taking where of course, uh, v x t and u x have to be determined. So, this value of u I use in the fourth uh, equation of the original uh, problem 1 uh, and the fourth equation of the original problem 1 is the boundary condition u 0 t is equal to a. So, just putting the value of u over here and uh, put in the value of u put x is equal to 0. So, use this particular value of u and put x is equal to 0 wherever x is coming put it equal to 0. So, v 0 t is equal to u 0 I have put x is equal to 0 is equal to a this is as it is this a is as it is and uh, again we know that u 0 is equal to a because we have assumed that u x is a function which satisfies this uh, system. So, u is a function which satisfies this system this system given by 3, 4 and 5. So, u 0 we, we are uh, taking to be a and u l we are taking to be b. u x has to be determined in such a way. So, that u l is equal to a and u l is equal to b. So, u 0 is equal to a. So, this value of u 0 can be uh, taken over here u 0 is equal to a and u 0 I put equal to a over here and then a and a gets cancelled out and finally, the value of v 0 t comes out to be equal to 0. So, this is the fourth transformed equation which we are marking as 9 and now uh, using again uh, now using 2 which is u x t is equal to v x t plus u x in the last equation of the original problem 1 uh, and the last equation of the original problem 1 is the boundary condition u l t is equal to b. So, uh, just uh, uh, using uh, this uh, value of u, this particular value of u and putting x is equal to l wherever it occurs. Uh, so, here we have v l t is equal to plus u l is equal to b and again uh, u l u we have taken to be a function in such a way. So, that u l is equal to b this uh, uh, we have taken in the beginning itself as I was uh, showing you in the beginning u l is equal to b. We are assuming that u is a function like that u has to be determined in such a way. So, that u l is equal to b. So, using u l is equal to b over here the value of u l is equal to b and b and b gets cancelled out and v l t comes out to be equal to 0. So, this is the fifth transformed equation and uh, this we are marking as 10. So, considering all the five transformed equations now all the equations which the new transformed equations which have come out when we assumed our solution to be this u x t is equal to v x t plus u x. Uh, so, these 5 transformed equations are given by 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, uh, in the same order I am writing this is equation 6, this is 7 and this is 8, this is 9 and this is 10. So, this is the new transformed system that we have got. Uh, which uh, in which uh, the original variable u x t is uh, not coming, but the new variable v x t is coming. So, this system uh, is a system uh, involving 
uh, the variable uh, v and you can see that uh, this uh, equation v t t is equal to c square v x x this represents the wave equation and it is a homogeneous the usual wave equation the homogeneous wave equation that we have and uh, the wave equation always represents problem of uh, uh, the vibrating string. So, this represents the problem of vibrating string and uh, this condition v x 0 is equal to this this represents the initial displacement because you are putting time as 0. So, this represents the initial displacement here you are taking velocity and time is 0. So, this represents the initial velocity. So, these two are initial conditions then again v 0 t is equal to 0 and v l t is equal to 0. So, you are putting conditions on x here x is equal to 0 here x is equal to l and uh, uh, you are saying that when x is equal to 0 then v is equal to 0 displacement is 0 when x is equal to l then also the displacement is 0 which means that uh, you have uh, the string is such that also l uh, represents the length of the string. So, uh, you have a vibrating string uh, which which is uh, of length l this whole length is l and uh, you when you give the disturbance to the string the string starts moving up and down. So, uh, here uh, if you take any point on this string then v represents the displacement and this displacement is dependent on x and t where x represents the horizontal distance and t represents the time. So, this is a problem this problem 1 is actually the problem of a finite vibrating string uh, of length l where the two ends are fixed these two boundary conditions make the end fixed the displacement when x is equal to 0 the displacement v is 0 which means that this end is fixed that when you are at the end x is equal to l which means this the displacement v is equal to 0 which means that this end is fixed. So, this is a problem of finite vibrating string with fixed ends and we have already uh, uh, solved this problem finite vibrating string with uh, fixed ends we know how to solve this problem uh, by using that you can use the d l Lambert solution or you can use the series solution. So, this problem has a solution already the the problem 11 already has a solution which uh, can be used. So, in a way you do not have any difficulty in solving a problem like this which is the problem of a finite vibrating string with fixed ends. But the only question remains that the function u x is still uh, undetermined the value of u x is still not known to us. So, this value of u uh, can of course, be determined uh, by solving this particular uh, system which we had taken in the beginning because we know that u uh, is a function which has been assumed to satisfy this particular uh, problem. So, and if you take a look at this problem this uh, uh, c square u x x plus f x here u x x uh, stands for d square u by d x square. So, this is a second order ordinary differential equation uh, and uh, subject to these two conditions u 0 is equal to a and u l is equal to b. So, this is a system of uh, this is a system or a problem involving second order ordinary differential equation and which can be easily solved because this is a uh, initial value problem in ordinary differential equation. So, the value of u can be easily determined from this uh, system. So, once the value of capital U is known to you then this value of capital U uh, can be uh, substituted this value of capital U which has to be calculated from this system this this uh, can be substituted this is all uh, whatever I have explained uh, that uh, this uh, system can be easily solved. So, this is the system basically which you are going to solve and once the value of capital U is known to you and uh, the small v again can be determined because the value of capital U can be substituted over here and uh, v this uh, can be determined therefore, by solving uh, the problem 11 which I told you can be solved either by using d Allenbert solution or by using series solution of wave equation. So, once uh, v and u are determined once v x t and u x are have uh, are known to us then the solution of the original problem which is u x t can be easily determined by substituting these two values. So, this is how you have to proceed uh, when you are given a uh, 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 an initial value problem involving a non homogeneous uh, wave equation. So, that was all about solving a uh, problem involving non homogeneous wave equation.